Ayo, I look really intimidating until I smile check. Hey, uh, I, I got a question for you. Uh, tr truth or dare? <laughs> Who's there? Ha ha, knock knock, let the devil in. Oh, 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 sorry, did you say dare? I double dock dare you to snort some smarties, dude. I like party games, beer pong, chicken fight, spin the bottle. Ooh, I, I, I love spin the bottle. But the most classic party game has to be truth or dare. It's very, very simple. You ask someone, hey, truth or dare? And usually, if they're a big whiny baby, they say the truth. Or if they're an extreme dare, Daredevil, they say dare because they like to live on the edge and they know how to party. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, if someone says dare, they know how to party. Now you see, truth or dare, it's an innocent game. It's never gotten anyone hurt, I'm sure of it. It's just like a small game and usually if you're dared, the kid who's daring you will just be like, lick the floor, lick it, stick your tongue on the floor now. And that doesn't really create any harm. You might get like a pebble on your tongue, but that's nothing bad. But hey, what if, <laughs> what if, dude, Truth or Dare was evil? Oh yeah, what if someone made a horror movie about Truth or Dare? What if, oh, 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 oh my jeez, what if Truth or Dare got like people possessed by Instagram face filters, dude? Oh, oh my god. Dude, what if we don't even call it Truth or Dare? We had our production company as the main title, so, so it sounds special, so it sounds like an art movie. Okay, but did you guys know there's actually like three movies called Truth or Dare? Or like, Truth or Dare? Die, well, why is this a thing? Where is Rock, Paper, Scissors the horror movie? Or I Spy the horror movie? Oh wait, that that's actually a thing. Oh, okay, wow. Truth or Daryl starring Lucy Hale is a 2018 stinky movie made by Blumhouse. And honestly, go them. I love Blumhouse. They make low budget horror movies to maximize profit and it's absolutely genius. They know how to capture the horror movie market. And honestly, it seems like they're just having fun with it. But I'm not gonna act like some of these movies aren't doo-doo. Some of them are big all stinky Kinky winkies. Like for example, Truth or Dare. This is a movie that I bet you forgot about until you saw the video's thumbnail. This movie could be easily forgotten like it was nothing. Because guess what? It is nothing. But I kind of love it. I love it for how absolutely dumb this movie is. It's what makes certain Blumhouse movies so enjoyable. The trailer went viral for one reason, the premise is trash. Truth or Dare. Dare. I know it sounds insane. Just a little. This fine young lady here dared me to show you my business. Seen it before, not impressed. Refuse to play. You know what? <laughs> Screw this. And you die. So, like, you got these demons that are all evil and stuff, and at random points, they'll ask whoever is stuck in the game, they'll ask them, truth or dare. And if you choose truth, they'll make you say some secret that you've been hiding, or your insecurities, or whatnot. If you choose dare, well, which, like, why, why would you? You're dared to do some crazy dumb thing, like hurt somebody, or yourself, or lick the pavement. But first, the person who has truth or dare, their face will become, like, whack, like, clown filtered. Like, it's honestly the wackiest most hilarious effect that ruins every moment of tension and the horror for the movie that it might have had. Like, it could have been a terrifying moment of, oh no, these boys about to die. Oh god, someone's about to ask truth or dare, they're gonna die. But instead, you look at this face and just laugh. The movie starts off with an intro to the game, ruining all of the mystery that the movie could have built up. The intro basically shows us a random girl doing the evil truth or dare game. But when she's asked truth or dare, she says dare. Why? She knows how the game works, obviously there's no one she knows around, so like why not say truth, why not say some secret? You, you, you dummy, you, you big dummy, I mean sure, we find out later that you can't just keep picking truth, but we don't know that yet, that's why this intro scene is dumb, we know nothing about this movie, it's just doing dumb things right out of the gate. It tells you nothing, it's just here to grab your attention fast in a cheap way, because it knows that if it builds up slow tension on a Blumhouse movie, that you'll just walk out of the theater probably. We then cut to the main character. Lucy Kale live streaming on YouTube. Hey, 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 stop that. S don't don't bring YouTube into this right now. So it turns out these group of extremely hot teens are going on an extremely hot summer break. They go to Mexico and we get a ha ha cute hot girl summer montage. That's what that's what that means, right? So one night of partying, Lucy Kale gets creepily hit on by some guy that she knows, but another guy defends her honor. Lucy Kale diffuses the tension with a very monotone request to calm him down. Calm down. Seriously, you gotta let it go. Like, geez, what what urgency? 
Haha, <laughs> yo, calm down, please. Something you'll notice throughout this entire movie is that just no one cares, even when bad stuff is happening. At one point, Kale's friend even saves her life by stepping in front of her to take a bullet, and Kale is just like, oh, whoa, dude. <laughs> That's sad. The guy that defends her honor takes her and her friends to some secret spooky church thing. Even the creepy guy comes that he just told to go away. The honor guy gets everyone to play truth or dare. But then when he's asked truth, he tells everyone that he's tricked them into coming here. But not before he bullies Kale for some reason. I needed to find someone with friends that I could trick into coming here. Tell Olivia was a pushover, which made her an easy target. Everyone's like, I that that was weird, but whatever. A guy just told us that we're all gonna die, die. but oh well. At school, Kale gets the first truth or dare asked. Look, look, look at the dumb faces. Look, they all look absolutely hilarious. Kale screams out that her friend cheats on her other friend, and luckily they're literally sitting right there so they hear it. That's very convenient. We then see that the creepy guy gets asked truth or dare by one random girl, and it's funny, he doesn't even question why does she look like that? What's wrong with her face. He doesn't even ask that. He doesn't go through with the dare and then he dies. But like at first he was gonna stab himself on a pool cue to to die. But like how how would that work? It's a pool cue. Pool cues aren't sharp. I mean my skills with one is sharp if you know what I'm saying. So Kale goes to talk about what she just saw and she mentions this. It looked like a messed up Snapchat filter. No, no movie, no. You do, you do not get to mention how it looks and acts like it make everything okay. You don't get to do that. Saying your movie effect is dumb doesn't expel you of your sins. No, no, I am angry. You don't get to do that. So slowly, very slowly, everyone starts to realize that the game is serious. Kale's friend is dared to break Kale's hand. This is so messed up. Even by my standards. <laughs> what? What? What are you doing in your free time then, huh? She gets her friend to break her hand, and then they go to the hospital. At the hospital, this dude gets a snack. Ooh, I love Jack Link's beef jerky. That's a good snack. So another guy then fails the game, and he dies. Which, okay, by this point, where are the cops? All these kids are dying. No cops. And then everyone quickly just moves on. Like their friend dies, and boom, they're home talking. Y'all move on very, very quickly, like three seconds later. So they research the intro lady girl and want to question her because she's connected to the honor guy. Meanwhile, another friend does a dare where she almost dies, but don't worry, she's saved. But three minutes later, it doesn't matter because she's actually the one that gets shot. <laughs> Bro, this movie doesn't give a fuck. So finally, absolutely finally, the cops talk to Kale. I have no idea why Kale is the chosen one to be questioned, but that's because she's the main character, I guess. So she's then dared to do the dance with no pants with one of her friends. This makes her other friend mad. They also find out that this old lady supposedly summoned a demon a very, very long time ago. Oh, okay. What what was that? What was that audio cut? What what, what what was that? It was like building and then boop. that was that wasn't that wasn't good. That wasn't effective. That was gross and messy. So this dude is told to pull a gun on his dad, and he's like, "Beg for your life, so that I can live." And the dad's just like, "Haha, son, you're funny. I know you're mad at me, but dude, like, what?" And so the kid gets shot. So these dudes go back to church in Mexico to try and end the curse or whatever whack thing is happening. But of course, it doesn't work. So instead, oh, oh my days. So instead, this girl uses her YouTube fame to curse the entire world. So apparently, she is this famous that she can get all of these people to watch and get all of them cursed. And that's the end of the movie. The main character is so selfish that she'd rather curse the world than rather have her die. die. Truth or Dare is one of the most eh, 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 movies ever made. It's like when you've literally run out of every single option to watch in the whole world, you'll eventually come to this movie. You might even have to be dared to watch it. Haha, <laughs> get it? Honestly, this isn't even a movie. There are no characters. There's no plot. People die, die. when too much time has gone on and nothing crazy is happening so it just chooses another person to die. So what is this movie? Is it a horror? A comedy? A romance? A thriller? God I have no idea. But it never leans too hard into any of those genres. Instead it just kind of slumbers towards the end. Somebody should have dared the screenwriters to write a better movie. <laughs> yeah. If I'm telling the truth I think that the 2017 original Truth or Dare is better because at least it's actually really really funny. At one 
one point this girl has to like eat doo-doo off the stove top and they spend like 10 minutes trying to push her to do that. It's really funny. Even the stove is like, ah, eat it, ah, I'm a spooky stove. So honestly, if you weirdly, weirdly have the urge to watch a horror movie about Truth or Dare, watch the first one because it's really, really funny. This one, this one is just boring, head scratching, and forgettable. I, I, I dare you to remember this movie.